I always try to have a, a really good relationship with referring docs because I just would always want to be somebody where you could pick up the phone and either give me a text or give me a call and say, hey, listen, can you see this patient? I need you to see this patient right away. Or, hey, what do, w this patient is complaining of uh, X, Y, and Z, and what do I do to treat that problem? What test should I order? Um, would you, is this something you'd be willing to see? And, and you know, my answer is always, of course. You know, of course I'll see what, whatever, um, however I can help, I'm happy to help. And if I don't know the answer to the question, or if we come up with a, a different type of problem that needs somebody else, I'm always happy to refer on. I like to, number one, I like to treat people the way I would like to be treated. I would never offer anybody anything that I would not be willing to have done on myself, or, or maybe have had done on myself. One of the things that I, I and discovered that I, that I tell patients a lot of times is that there's there's a can and there's a should in medicine. There are a lot of things that we can do for people and to people. Um, and sometimes uh, we should step back and ask, well, what, what should we be doing? So my quest is always to, um, to do the should, and, uh, or, which sometimes is, is not to do anything, not to operate. Like most general neurosurgeons, I do mostly, mostly spine. Um, brain tumors, uh, Chiari malformations, also some peripheral nerve things, um, basic carpal tunnels, ulnar nerves. Um, but part of the thing that's really interesting is I love what I do. No, no day is exactly the same. It's the, the chance to make a positive impact in, um, in somebody's life and um, always to, a lot of what we do alleviates pain and suffering. We also deal with some pretty, um, pretty terrible disease processes, and if I can, if I can help in any way with the patients and the families, then that's, that's what I'm here to do.